Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Ragu himself. First of all, before we get into it, please like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. They follow from Burners with Raider Ragu. On TikTok, Raider Ragu. On Instagram, Raider Ragu. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We appreciate it. We need that. We uh we strive and uh thrive to put out some good content for you guys at all times. So just uh like, share, subscribe so we can keep it pumping in there for you. All right, Paul. So get right into it. I got the breaking news. Breaking news from uh sources. Before I break it, though, let me just say what we're talking about here is the GM and coach search for the Raiders. All right. Before, we was wondering how was Mark going to go about this. So, well, I was. I might not even got to say that in the show or not. I'm not sure. Um was he going to hire the GM, then let the GM hire the coach, right, instead of doing that buddy system thing that he did last time that did not work, whereas he let the coach kind of dictate to him what GM was going to get hired. Come to think of it, he did that with Gruden as well. Gruden was able to pick his own GM. So this time around, thinking he's going to do a different way, all right? This time around, he's going to hire the GM first, and then he's going to ask the GM, you know, who your coach, you want the coach to be. Well, Mark Davis and Champ Kelly already agreed on Antonio Pierce one time. Champ Kelly already suggested Antonio Pierce be the coach one time. So, makes sense that, again, he'll say, this is my coach. This is who I want to go forward with as coach. Now, we have been hearing that Antonio – Want to be interviewed, uh, request to be interviewed by the Atlanta Falcons and I believe the Tennessee Titans. And that Champ Kelly did an interview yesterday with the Carolina Panthers or perhaps the day before. Sources say that Champ killed the interview. I'm just talking about just blew the people away in Carolina to the point where they want to have him for a second interview. So they said he knew their whole roster, all that, the whole details, no notes, just was rocking off the top of the dome about they whole, their whole roster situation there. It was impressive. Antonio, we didn't get any notes or anything from his virtuals, his virtual interviews. But our guys are popular and they're popping right now. So if Mark Davis doesn't lock them up, he'd be in danger of losing them. But that's another thing, right? That's what we, that's really what we're here for. That's another thing. Okay. Break it all down. Sources are telling me. Raider Ragu. Your boy. Sources are saying. Champ's going to get higher first. Perhaps as early as today. 
today is Tuesday. It's early here on the West Coast on Tuesday morning. So he's probably going to get the job later today, champ. They will go through the motions a bit more. Because also, let me rewind. Davis had uh, the GM for the Chargers that got ran to Lasco and and he had Dobbs at Dobbs from the Colts interviewing for the GM position, quote unquote. So What ends up happening right there is you're trying to get some intel. You're getting intel on that Charger interview. You're getting a, got sort of a disgruntled guy. We're not going to say disgruntled, but, you know, he just got ran from there. He's still casting checks. But they ran him and his boy Staley. So he might have picked up some intel, some insights on – how other ball clubs see the Raiders, uh, how they feel about our roster. Is there anybody on the Chargers roster that we might should look at? That type of thing, right? And then with the Colts, the Colts beat us, put us out of playoff contention this year. Just drafted a rookie quarterback that was doing well before he got injured. And overall have drafted well in recent years, uh, Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman Jr., players of that nature, all turned out to be good players. Good to have him in, pick his brain. What's he see uh, in a scouting department? What type of things does he see in a player? What's he think about our roster? Things of that sort so fact finding is what you do right here and then your guys that are getting interviews and when i say your guys i'm saying champ and ap they're doing the same fact finding learning about what people think of the raiders roster what type of moves what teams want to make who's who else has been looked at it's coaching candidates uh philosophies of other teams you get all this intel and then you use it when you end up meeting these teams later because you know who you're going to hire anyway but you want to do your due diligence you have to satisfy the Rooney rule I believe that entails interviewing two outside folks. And speaking of that, for the coaching position, the Raiders are set to interview Leslie Frazier. Leslie Frazier, the former Bills D Corps, the former Vikings head coach. He got that head coaching job with the, the uh, Vikings after having an interim tag removed. So again, on the fact-finding tip, right, you have him in, you ask Mark, I mean, if you're Mark, you ask him little questions about how it went for him in the transition and whatnot. So Fact-finding is what they're doing right now. So don't be alarmed about the still interviewing other candidates because the breaking news is we have our coach and GM. Now, there's been rumors about Cliff Kingsbury as the O.C., that hasn't been confirmed or denied yet. We can't even, definitely not gonna, not gonna confirm an AC. We haven't confirmed a head coach. However, here's the one 
potential snag in our happy ending here for the Raiders is that is Patrick Graham, the defensive coordinator, who I believe is an absolute keeper, and most of the nation does, has been getting head coaching interviews. So now, he's getting head coaching interviews within the division, like the Chargers. Now, they're on fact-finding mission, perhaps, or maybe they're Rooney ruling him. He's He's got some other interviews as well scheduled. I wouldn't expect him to make a parallel move as a decor somewhere, but a head coach, if Patrick Graham gets a head coach offer, I, I would take it. I expect him to take it. So that would put a potential monkey wrench in last year's program in where we don't have um, – Patrick Graham at the D core and we need a new O core. So now you have AP starting over no D core, no O core. That's just something to think about, but you know, I wish PG the best, but I really would like to have, see how we can run with that program with him at the D core. AP is a head coach. Uh, the OC that they decide and with champ at the, um, uh, GM and um, run it like that, man. And let's see how we could also, and also Sandra, uh, Sandra Douglas Morgan at the president. And then uh, also Richard Seymour as an advisor sitting in on the interview process. So um, see how that whole system, how that whole program could work. Give it a chance. Give us a chance with that and see how we can roll. Is what I say we should do. Uh, but I don't blame uh, Patrick Graham if he's going to get a look, man, as a head coach. We can't blame him. So, uh, all right, I'm going to let I'm gonna let y'all go. I ain't going to hold y'all no more. But I just wanted to come in with the breaking news. We'll have uh, the GM and head coach in place by Friday, what I'm told. Um, and then we'll have to work on the coordinators because that's still up in the air with Graham getting interviews. So Queensberry, who was the coach at SC? Uh, don't believe he's been fired. Anyhow, not going to hold y'all. Please like, share, subscribe. They follow from Burners on the ESPN. I'm sorry, on the YouTube channel. <laughs> I am ESPN. So they follow from Burners. Those who, that's who follows me from Burners. Uh, with Raider Ragu, Raider Ragu on Instagram and TikTok. Please follow, like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys, man. Peace. We'll see you on the other side.